Hey guys, stick around. We're going to do a quick review on the uh, Duraflame fire pit. See how it works out burning and smoke. And we think it'll work out pretty good in the fifth wheel. We'll stick around. We'll let you know. Do us a quick favor and go hit that subscribe button and the like and the ding ding little bell and see if we can't get a few more of these videos out for you. We have the ashtray. I thought they outlawed ashtrays in America anymore. Maybe, maybe it's an ash pan. stainless steel all the way around <clears throat> have the air holes in here for the air induction comes in through the bottom and up the sides comes in through here air all the way up as the flame burns in the middle it also brings heated air up the sides inside superheats it takes the smoke out Allows the air to come around the ash pan in the fire. This piece sits on top of him. Brings the air up. And we got this hot booger here for near 20 bucks. Perfect fit. Solo Stove is mighty proud of these accessories. No doubt they're quality products, but at a premium price. Although Grandpa did say buy a good tool once, he was probably on to something. Okay, boys and girls, we're going to set this over here, make this little fire. I'll bet that'll start it. This should be enough for a bonfire. The bonfire of the vanities, folks. Somebody, probably overseas, made a good quality corrugated board here. Unlike some we see, especially from the Orient, that is like Flattened rice paper, I'm afraid. Now I can tell you that long beards or hair and fire is a dangerous combination, so y'all be prepared to call the fire department if I need it. By the time they get here, it might be a hair too late. That's for you, Dave, one of them funnies. Okay. Okay. We got some fire going down there. He's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and put this ring on. Like that. That already starts to direct the smoke even more. Now, from watching videos online, I understand that these things burn the fire a lot quicker than a normal fire would. Or wood, wood, yeah. Say that three times. Because of the air induction action, I guess you would call it. Pulling the air along the bottom here, up the side and inside and out. Superheating the air on the top and helping to burn more of it off once he gets a little more flame. We will use our handy dandy infrared from thermometer, which works wonderful for the RV guys. You pull into a rest area, you walk around, shoot each tire. Know exactly what the temperature is. 
or well, your TPMS should be telling you that also. This also works good for checking for hot bearings. Yeah, smoke follow the duty, boys and girls. And we have the screen. A guy would want to need a um, want to have a mitt or a hook for lifting these on and off. Cause that handle won't get warm right out there in the middle. We do have a glove here. Fire is one of the most basic and primordial instincts that there is. The attraction to the heat, the security of the flames. As far back as mankind goes, I imagine. Once the fire pit gets down to coals like this, you don't have much, well really no smoke at all now. And you can easily stand right to it, warm, warm in your high knees. Warm in it. Oh, it feels so good, especially when you have sciatic. The flames are down there, so you're not getting any flare-ups or anything. Nice and warm. That's a 10. The attraction to the warmth of fire is the same as the attraction to the warmer climates. Damn it, why ain't I in Yuma? Well, that says 63 degrees. Still cool to the touch. Let's look in there. That's 496, 498. Yeah, we're getting on playing there now. Getting the larger pieces going. Solo stove, which is virtually identical to this, and I guess there's lawsuits or who knows what. Probably the reason Target, Home Depot, and all the rest are discounted. Some discounted as low as $75, I believe it was. I paid 125 for mine. They're normally either 249 or 299. I'm not sure which. Either way, it seems like a pretty good deal for the same thing. Solo stove offers a number of accessories. They do cost a little bit more though. Um, one of which is a heat deflector that goes on the top. That's legs that raises up, deflects it, so you get smoke up and some more heat out. Otherwise, you don't get a lot of heat coming out to you. Still 65 degrees, bringing the cold air up in the inside. It's definitely getting warmer in there. We got flames at 633. Now we set for grilling or cooking on there. Perfect place to set a cowboy co coffee pot, cast iron skillet. I really don't think you would have much movement at all. Nothing moving around at all that way.
think a man would be wise to build himself a hook for lifting this up. It'd be real easy to make a nice stainless steel hook on a handle where you can lift the spark grate or the cooking grate. It's very convenient because the pieces fit together in one little bundle. You can also store things inside it. If you make a fire in the morning on the day you're leaving breaking camp, you'll have to shut it down an hour or two before to let him cool off. You certainly don't want to be filling him full of water when he's hot. It's stainless steel, but you can still warp the whole thing or split a seam, split a seam on it, rub it seam. All in all, I think it's going to be a very good, very useful tool. He's made of 304 and 201 stainless steel. He's rust re rust and corrosion resistant. Pan comes out for easy cleaning. What's his dimensions? He is 19 inches in diameter, 15 and a half inches tall. Weighs a whopping 22 pounds. I think we have a winner here. Well, it definitely can be a smokestack when you're trying to start it or restart it. Got a little bit before you get some heat going to get some convection direction to pull that air and that smoke up. Once you get him going. Overall, I think that this fire pit will be a very useful addition to the RV. Easy to stow away, convenient to store um, smaller items inside of it. Nesting, as we call it in the RV world. Um, nice, containable little fire. One, he's a he's a fireball. There we go. As you can see now, the smoke is greatly reduced as the flames are starting to come up. We're building some more heat. That convection is pulling all that smoke up and out, and it's after burning it as well. As you can see, we have a whole bunch more fire showing up. A couple minutes, it'll be roaring. This little girl here, let's get away from the fire. We don't want to get to the fire. This little girl here is baby dog, Chihuahua. We had her and her sister from the moment they were born, or eight weeks actually, from my brother. Wonderful little dog. Lay in the on the dash of the motorhome in the sun in Yuma. People think it's a porcelain doll. She plays her in that heat and love it. She loves the heat. She's a good girl. She's about 110 now. Good girl. Well, you can see flames coming through them about yay high. We got plenty of flames there. Well, let's see if we use the Indian sugar tray on there. Hmm. Well, overall the Duraflame fire pit seems to be a success. For every outward appearance, it's a solo stove. Acts exactly the same, works the same. A whole lot less money. I think it was a great buy for the money. I think it'll be a valuable addition to the accessories for the motorhome, allowing us to travel with it. Easily fit in the bay of the fifth wheel or lower compartments on motorhomes. Even 
the back of the pickup. It'll sit right in between the Blackstone and the Traeger. He's a success. We'll have to see how he cleans up after he cools off. Should be fairly easy. Take off one piece, lift up the edge pan, dump it, dump it, you're done. Should take too long to cool off. Once the flames go out, stir in the ashes, just a few minutes for them to burn out. Time for another drink. Well, I have this Mickey Mouse club, cup that I've had for Ten years or so. Son got it for me at Mickey World. I think I need to get me an RV Fool's Cup. Some kind of fool on it. So, let's see what comes up. Don't just be a fool, be an RV Fool. Uh oh, here comes trouble.